This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 38 years of practice and almost a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. Dr. Tom Rosell live right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio. I'd love to talk to you on any subject that you have in mind. Give me a call, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you. Let's kind of weed through the weeds, if you will, and uh, find out what's going on so you can do something without drugs, without surgery, for whatever problems that you may be playing with. No matter what they are, we might be able to put you in a direction that has a better outcome, that doesn't take away the dignity of your your life, your health, and you know one that may actually show you a light that, guess what, you're whole again. 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you. I've got a couple subjects we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about foot pain, uh, something called metatarsalgia, and we're going to talk about, oh, the flu shot. Yeah, that, you know, that controversial, that very, very controversial subject. Well, we'll get into that in a little bit. But before we do, I want to talk to you about something that's very near and dear to my heart, and that has to do with caring for others. Caring for Others is a foundation that was started in 1998, and it has three pillars. One is to provide health care to the indigent and homeless in our community and to support them in uh, medical ways that traditional medicine and allopathic care can't. Second is to provide scholarship to uh, kids that are going to uh, alternative care colleges like uh, acupuncture, uh, traditional Chinese medicine, uh, naturopathic medicine, chiropractic, and so forth. And thirdly, to provide public information and also to support people when they're in need and they have very significant issues, And but not just to provide for them, but to give them an opportunity to move forward. There's an organization called Artemis House, and a year ago, last year, 2013, we got involved. And one of the things in all the years that I've been in practice, one of the things that's really gotten to me is abuse of children and abuse of women. And many of these people end up on the streets because they just have to get away. Artemis House is dedicated to helping these people. But last year we decided, the Result Center for Healing and Caring for Others, decided to team together and have a celebration to take care of these people at the Christmas uh, season. And so we had our first annual Caring for Others event. Uh, we called it our Holiday Jubilee. And the Roselle Center uh, and Caring for Others collected gifts for over 84 children in the community. And it was magnificent. We were, it was done at the Fairview Park Hotel, and uh, Santa Claus was there, and Mrs. Santa Claus was there, and WHUT TV was there, and the donations that came in from the community were heartwarming. They were absolutely magnificent. And we fed uh, these women and children, and with everybody in tow, it was in excess of about 125, 130 people. And it was a gift from Caring for Others in conjunction with Rizal Center for Healing. You know, the beauty about caring for others is this. I'm going to get into this a little bit more, is that nobody that participates in doing these events, in administering to the shelters and to the homeless areas and so forth, is reimbursed five cents, nothing, for their time. It's all uh, given. It's all a gift. It's all gratuitous. Now, <clears throat> that includes there's no administrative cost for this foundation because everything is donated as well. There's very few ch uh, charities that you can say that 100% of everything that goes into it is given out. So this year, on December the 20th, we are going to again join with Caring for Others. Roselle Center for Healing and Caring for Others are going to join together to do this again. This year, we're going to have over 100 children and their mothers, and we're going to do it at the same place at the Fairview Park uh, Marriott Hotel in <clears throat> Falls Church, Virginia, and we would like your help. What we would like you to do is this. These kids are going to get sleep sacks, and they're going to get stuffed animals, and they're going to get personal hygiene uh, gifts from local dentists. Actually, Dr. Michael Chung is donating. 
what we would like to have you do to help us is buy a gift card. And in a, if you walked into our office today, you'd see a Christmas tree up, and you'd see all these ornaments, and uh, the ornaments have you know twenty-five or fifty-dollar donations. And so, what we would like to do is encourage you to help us help these children and her and their mothers. Go to Caring for Others Ltd. That's C A R I N G F O R O T H E R S. Caring for Others Ltd. dot org. O R G. And donate, and you can donate for this. You know, we're asking twenty-five to fifty dollars for these ornaments, or give from your heart and give as much as that you'd like to. Check out the website. There's going to be more photos and things that are going up. But this will be this year, the twentieth of December, and it's going to be an event that we hope to do every year. So we'd like to help you, encourage you, help us, help caring for others, help Result Center for Healing give a mission of love and support and encouragement to these people who have basically been, their lives have been shocked and set aside. If you're not savvy with the computer, you can go to our office, go to Rizal Center for Healing, or call us at 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. And tell my staff that you'd like to donate to this event. It's a 501c3, fully, totally tax deductible. And if you're heart of hearts, if you'd like to give more, please do that. I promise you the money will go to good use. It will be something that will encourage and help and provide for many lives that ultimately wouldn't be touched in any other way. Caringforothers.org. Caringforothersltd.org. Caringforothersltd. Dot org. Do it right now. Pick up the phone. Give them a call. And then we're going to talk about your problems today. We're going to talk about uh, the flu shot, and we're going to talk about foot pain. But first, Joan, thank you for calling. How can I help you? Well, I just had some lab work done, and I would like for you to just to interpret for me um, on cholesterol. Okay. Give me the numbers. Um, total. Yep. 253. Okay. LDL 129. Okay. HDL yep. 103. Yep. Uh, VLDL okay. 21. Yep. Triglycerides 104. Okay, so let me tell you this before we start that you don't have all the numbers. It's unfortunately what the drug companies say that they want to have so they can put you on cholesterol medications. For uh, How old are you, by the way? 76. Okay, so at 253, as we get older, our cholesterol levels should be slightly higher because we need it for cognitive function, neurological transmission, hormonal balance, and so forth. But the numbers that you have in front of you right now tell me that there's, there's a problem. There's, it's not necessarily a huge problem, but I'd have to know more. Uh, cholesterol, total cholesterol, 253, is it a big deal? You're, the, the traditional allopathic community would want you to think it is. And, you know, when you have a LDL level at 129, they want to see it under 100. When you have an H, uh, uh, you t- what did you tell me the HDL level was? At 103. That's way high. Okay, so for a female, you don't want it any higher than about 70, 75. A lot of the labs will tell you anything, you know, way high is better. It's not. It's still the same problem. This tells me with the LDL level uh, at that level, with your total cholesterol at that level, your triglycerides kind of sneaking up there. I still want to know what your blood sugars are. And I, there's the fractionated portions of these. And what I mean by that, you can take the bad guys, the LDLs, and the good guys, the HDLs, and then you break them down into the really bad guys or the not so bad guys. The really good guys are eh, they're just kind of hanging out. And those are called apolipoproteins A and B, and then there's subfractions, and we, we, you want to see them in a certain range. So to you know to make a comment on this, my commentary was would simply simply be I don't know yet. Um, it's it begins to tell me that maybe we've got an inflammatory reaction that has to do with liver function, the li- because cholesterol is made in the liver, and your LDL levels too high at. at uh, uh, you know, at where it is, and your particularly your HDL, all of those are liver function problems and the body's ability to handle certain things. But 100%? No, not really. But if you've got a sweet tooth, that says that maybe that's why these things are high. If you're under a lot of stress, that also can contribute to this. If your diet is not, you know, if you're not doing 85%, 90% the way you should, 
maybe you know that's a contributory factor. And if you're not getting any exercise on a regular basis, exercise is nothing more than get in, getting out and walk. Stretch and walk every day. And, you, you know, the guideline is two miles, and it's not in a period of time. It's just two miles a day. Get out and walk. And you'll see just doing that, increasing your vegetables, getting rid of the carbohydrates and the sugars, you'll see most of this drop. But there's still other questions that I would have to ask and know about. Obviously, you're not my patient, so I, I don't know the intimacies, and I won't ask you over the radio. But uh, that's where you start. Send me a note. Go to rosellecare.com, and I'll ask you a few more things. And let me see what I can do. But the short answer is, yeah, you need to get it down. Yeah, there's, if, if you know your blood pressure's up, if you know your blood sugar's up, you know that these are starting to rise. That's called a metabolic syndrome, Joan. And that means that things aren't working the way they're supposed to, and there's other things that are creeping up behind you, but you can take care of all of those naturally. You don't have to resort to statins or any of those things. Joan, appreciate your phone call. Thank you. 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Let's talk about your problems today and the things that are going on in your life. So it says the season. What am I talking about? Not necessarily Santa Claus. I'm talking about the flu shot or not. So there's a lot of articles written on that. You can play both ends of the spectrum. You can go the pros and cons. Obviously, it's an extraordinarily controversial subject. So I'm going to give you another take on this thing. You know, the last time I read the insert, you know, that comes out of these flu vaccine boxes, it said, you know, something like, you know, uh, there's less than 50% of those taking the vaccine will develop antibodies to the flu shot. What does that mean off the top? That means you got a f- less than a 50-50 shot of the thing doing anything. Because you've got to develop the reaction, the antibody reaction. Less than 50% of, the de- of those developing antibodies will do so in sufficient numbers to confer immunity. So now you've got to less, those of you who are going to develop the antibodies to do something, less than 50% of you is going to do anything for you. So now you've got an effectiveness rate of less than 25%. And on, what I'm giving you is this is the fine print that comes directly from these vaccine developers. Straight up. I'm not making this stuff up. I can give it, give it to you. I'll post it on, on uh, my website. I think that if, you know, the percentage had been closer to 50%, the literature would have said something like, you know, almost 50% instead of less than 50%. And, you know, the people who are putting this stuff up, they're not dumb. You know, they know what they're doing. This is money. This is big pharma. This is huge dollars. You know, multiply the millions of people that they're trying to get inoculated by, what is it out there, 20 bucks, 25 $30, you know, whatever it is. And the numbers are astronomical when you f- figure out that this time of the year is like a bonus system for them. It's, it's crazy. But just for fun, you know, the actual percentage is 40% of the people that develop antibodies, okay? And let's say that 40% of those, they actually get immunity. What does that mean? That's an equivalent rate of 16% effective. You know, I do math very well in my head. I can get it done quickly. You know, you should be able to. It says, like, your your shot of being immune to the flu by taking the flu shot is 16%. That's just about what the actual number is. You know, since less than 10% of the population actually gets the flu annually, you know, most claim 5 to 20% range, and that's, that's propaganda. That would mean that the vaccine helps about 1.6% of the population avoid symptoms while having no statistical effect on mortality or morbidity. I will stand by those statements. You better think twice before you do this stuff because it's going to impair your capacity to function and maintain your health. You know, I hope they pick the right strain to begin with because guess what? If they don't pick the right identity, the right strain, where they match the Viron, that number goes to 0%. So, and guess what they're doing? They're making this year's flu shot on last year's flu. And the virus is known to mutate. It's known to change. Think about that. We're going to get into a little bit more of this controversy because I want you to know the facts. That's why we do this program. And we're going to talk a little bit more about Caring for Others project that's coming up. And don't forget, it's caringfortherslimited.org. Go make a donation during the break right now. You know, donate uh, to them. If you feel like your heart is generous, you want to donate a lot more, do that as well. I'm going to match the donation, and I will tell you a little bit about that when we come back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. Did you know that routine mammograms can increase radiation exposure to breast tissue 1,000 times over a chest x-ray? 
Now consider a simple, non-invasive, and totally safe medical procedure approved by the FDA since 1982 that can detect breast cancer five to eight years before it can be visualized on a mammogram. Infrared thermographic imaging can accurately detect the initial signs of breast cancer as increased blood supply and metabolic rate, which is recorded as heat. Why expose yourself to radiation when accurate and safe medical detection is available? Call the Thermography Center of Fairfax to schedule a breast exam today at 703-948-7248. That's 703-943-7248. For more information, visit www.thermographyscan.net. That's thermographyscan.net for the Thermography Center of Fairfax. The Roselle Center for Healing is a proud supporter of breast cancer awareness and reminds you to conduct a monthly breast self-examination and and a thermographic breast scan as part of your annual wellness checkup. Dr. Tom Roselle Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. You're listening to Dr. Tom Roselle Live in studio, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. I'd love to talk to you on any subject. I've got a couple, and we're talking about the flu and the vaccinations and so forth. We're going to continue that. But anything that is near to dear your heart, let's, let's play with it. Let's talk about it. Let's put you in a place where you have to think outside the box. And, you know, as a, a president of... Uh, High Point University said, let's take the box and throw it out the window. Let's, let's look at it very, very differently. Caring for Others, 501c3 charity. And it's been around since 1998, and it does some amazing things. And one of the things it's doing this year, it's asking you for funds to help them in their mission. And Caring for Others uh, has, over those 16 years that it's been in existence, has extended itself to those who are desperately in need of all kinds of things, but particularly health care. And natural health care is way beyond anybody's uh, pocketbook who doesn't have anything to begin with. And the doctors uh, that are involved go out and they treat in the community and they help people. And we also encourage scholarship to uh, different students who are going to integrative schools of naturopathic medicine and chiropractic and acupuncture and nutrition. And in addition to that, servicing the community and taking care of them and supporting them, particularly when there's times of need. Last year, Caring for Others, in conjunction with the Roselle Center for Healing, did a charity fundraiser. And what they did is they opened up their hearts and their coffers, and they hosted what they called a holiday jubilee for 84 children in the community and their uh, mothers and a, a couple men as well who were homeless because they were abused, because they were battered, that they were shoved out of their houses. And this was an amazing event. It was at the Fairview Park Marriott Hotel in Falls Church, Virginia. Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus was there, and there was a beautiful, beautiful a Christmas train packed with uh, sleeping bags and so forth, and uh, there was donations from different stores and vendors and so forth, and, and uh, WHUT television was there, and they had the animated characters, and there was a, a fake tattoo uh, concession. These kids had a ball. We had music for them, and the meal that was put on was absolutely over the top. Some of these people had never had anything like that in their lives. We're asking you to help this year. We're asking you to donate and buy a Christmas ornament or two. These Christmas ornaments are going to be 25 to $50. What they are is actually a gift card for these, uh, these children. And you can buy 10 if you'd like to, or if you would like to donate directly to Caring for Others. It's a 501c3, so your donation is fully and completely tax deductible. Caring for Others has no expenses because everything that's donated to them goes out completely into use of its stated purposes. Go to caringforothersltd.org, C-A-R-I-N-G-F-O-R-O-T-H-E-R-S-L-T-D.org, and donate. Donate now. Do it today. And join us. And what I'm going to do is this. Right now, if you go into the Caring for Others website, you're going to see that they're trying to raise uh, a goal of $40,000, right? And there's, they're right now the goal is at $35,210.15. So from that point on, 
you get it up to 40000 I will match, personally, me, Dr. Tom Rosell, I'll match dollar for dollar everything that's donated up to that $40,000 mark. Now, I'd love, I'd love to see it higher than that. I'd love to see more than that. But I will donate a dollar for dollar for every dollar that you donate. Now, if you're not great with a computer, you can go to our webs or our our uh, phone number 703-698-7117 703-698-7117 and tell my staff that you would like to donate or buy a Christmas ornament for the event on December 20th to help a child enjoy Christmas. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to do it. We need your help. Caring for others, ltd.org, or go to 703-698-7117 and help us, help somebody that otherwise would have a very lousy year. And as I've said, you know, uh, Caring for Others has benefited many other people. Food for Others, Fairfax uh, County Community Services, CFC and United Way, Virginia Women's Shelter, Fairfax County Firefighters, Boys and Girls Clubs of America, the Salvation Army, Disabled Veterans of America, and so many others may eat. It's a great organization. They need your help. I will help you. I will donate dollar for dollar for everything that you all donate up to forty th- or up to making that goal of forty thousand dollars. We're coming up to a break, and when we come back, we're going to talk more about the flu, and we're going to get into foot pain. So don't go away. Remember, you can get a hold of me here at 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. And we'll take your calls and talk about your problems and tell you what to do about them. So maybe you can get away from the drugs and the garbage that you're looking at as time goes on because of ignoring something that you shouldn't ignore. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health. Health is a do-it-yourself program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 38 years of practice and almost a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. I'm in studio. Love to talk to you. 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Let's chat on some of the things that are bugging you relative to your health and things that you tried and applied and didn't come up with anything that was successful. Well, let me give you another idea. I think we could probably put you in a different direction. I haven't seen anything that can't be helped in some way, providing that you understand what the landscape looks like, your terrain, your body, how it works, the functional capacity of, of uh, you know, its expression. And as long as you don't suppress it, then your body has the capacity to be able to fix virtually anything, but you got to get out of the way sometimes. Talking about the flu shot, to flu shot or not, and that is the question. And we said that, you know, when you really look at the percentages, you know, that less than 50% of those taking the vaccine will develop antibodies to the flu virus, and less than 50% of those developing the antibodies will do so in sufficient numbers to give you any sort of immunity. That's significant. Because at the end of the day, what it comes down to is that it, less than 16% effectiveness. And, you know, you can do that math in your head. It's quick. And, you know, less than 10% of the population actually gets the flu. And when you look at the literature and you look in the CDC, you're t- they want to say 5 to 20%. You know, not so much, right? Well, what does that mean for you? And they say that the CDC, if you go to the website, they say that you can't get the flu from getting the flu shot. Well, I think many of you out there would argue otherwise. 
And, you know, they say that there's some minor side effects that occur, like, you know, a little soreness or redness from the shot, a little bit of low-grade fever, a little bit of ache. And if you if you do the nasal spray, you know, there's runny nose and some wheezing and things like that. Well, how about the rest of the stuff? How about the headache that you get and the vomiting and the muscle aches and the fever? And then you look at the nasal spray and the runny nose and the headache and the sore throat and the cough and so forth. I don't know about you, but you know what? Sounds like flu to me. Sounds like that might be the symptoms that are associated with that situation. And let's not even open the door on thimerosal. You know, that's another can of worms that we could talk about forever here. But here's the deal. Why don't you try to exercise and get some vitamin D in your body? Did you know that in excess of 78% of you living in this area are vitamin D deficient? And you go to your docs and they say, well, you, you know, you're, you're at 36%. You're fine. Or you're 30, your number's 36. You're fine. Well, the truth of it is that anything under 50 is considered insufficient. Anything under 32 is highly deficient and you're in real trouble. So what do you do to protect yourself? Get some exercise. Don't overdo it, but get some exercise. Watch the garbage you put in your body. You know, right now between last week, Thanksgiving, or this Thursday, Thanksgiving, and coming up to uh, the first of the year, we're going to put things in our body in quantities that, you know, we laugh about and celebrate with and so forth that are going to take your immune system down a very dark hole. And you're not going to be able to fight anything. One teaspoon, one teaspoon of sugar or the equivalent decreases the white blood cell capacity to work, to protect you. Remember, those are the guys that are your defense mechanisms? By 12% for eight hours. It makes it comatose. You could take a blood test and you can see the white cells are there. But guess what? They're asleep. They're not working. They're just kind of, you know, oh, God, well, that's a nice-looking bug down there. You know, let's do something about it. No, no, let's not. I'm sleepy. I don't want to do Look, natural immunity is the way to go. You've got to increase your body's ability to function. So what do you do? Well, try vitamin C. You know, that good old vitamin C increases interferon production in your body. And the research is out there, going back to Pauline, who, you know, won the Nobel Prize for his work on it. There was an analysis, there, uh, an algorithm was made, and you know they did this meta-analysis on 29 clinical trials, and where uh, the people only received 200 milligrams uh, or a little bit more of vitamin C daily, and they found that these folks had better immunological reaction than anybody else. I take you know 3,000 milligrams a day. You should as well, at least. What's the side effect to too much vitamin C? Eh, diarrhea. You know, you're going to get a little loose stool, so you back it down to the level. You know, there's all kinds of things out there that said, you know, well, vitamin C hardens the arteries. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't harden it in a bad way. It makes it a little more resilient so you don't stroke out and increases your resistance to rupture. How about echinacea? Echinacea has been widely used to prevent and treat colds for, you know, probably thousands of years because it's been a plant. So the the research has found some conflicting uh, results, but a recent clinical trial has found no clinically significant effects of three different forms of uh, echinacea. So what am, I gonna, what am I telling you? Well, what it does do is this. It increases your immune response and then maintains it at a certain level. Great thing to have, right? You can go back and quote the German study that was done several years back and say, well, it really doesn't do anything. It doesn't continue to increase the immune system. No, it gets it up to a certain level and then it maintains it there. Green tea, one of the greatest antioxidants you can put in your system. Dramatically important immune defense system. And, you know, get yourself about three cups of it. You know, the researchers suggest that the key was uh, L-theanine, which is another substance that found in teas, a substance that increases in, uh, immunological reaction and fights bacteria and infections and viruses and funguses and so forth. And then good old zinc. You know, zinc is great. Most of you are zinc deficient. One of the tests that we do with every patient that walks in our office is that we give them liquid zinc to try to taste. And you should be able, if you have enough zinc in your body, you're going to taste it. And it tastes like, ugh. You know, it's it's dry, it's cottony, it's metallic tasting, and that tells me that you have, you know, enough zinc in your body and you're doing okay. Most of you will not taste it immediately. It'll take a while. And that says, not so much. You need more of it. So control the stress, watch the sugar, get some exercise, cut the nonsense out, you know, and take care of your health. You're the one that's in control. You remember my book? Ageless Health, Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. You're the captain of the ship, my friends. You're the ones that have to really stand up and take control of this. Loris, thank you for calling. How can I help you? 
Uh, yes, thank you so much, Doctor, for this wonderful topic. I, I just want you to know that uh, you're very, you know, I love your show every week. Thank you. You're very um, kind. And um, you know, so much valuable information you give out to the community. Um, I have a sinus condition uh, that I've had for many years, and I don't have to take anything for it usually uh, in the warm months, but sometimes spring and fall I might wind up with something, and, you know, the post-nasal drip, the runny eyes, that kind of thing. And I try not to take any any medications as as much as as little as possible, okay. except for an occasional flare up when I'm right. trying to avoid getting an upper respiratory infection. So have... I've noticed that and heard from other experts. I want to see if you agree that if you take six thousand to seven thousand uh, milligrams of powdered pure vitamin C, it can really help prevent an onset of a full re- upper respiratory infection or help you get rid of it if you've almost... Well, sh- well sure. It's, it's a great immune stimulator because it, it uh, stimulates a lot of different things in the body, but also helps heal the inflammatory reaction within the intestinal system. Ah. First of all, reoccurring sinus problems are a problem with the gut. It's with the intestinal system. That means oh. there's things that are living in your intestinal system, probably mold and fungus, oh. that are causing the problem to occur. In Chinese medicine, anything that has to do with the upper respiratory system, you always look to the intestinal system and try to treat that. What do you recommend on a year-round basis to keep your it's, gut in it's, shape? A it's, probiotic? No. It's, it, well, that's part of it, but you want to get rid of the problem. You okay. want to you want to find out what the environment is of the intestinal system, treat that. But generally, patients that come in, there's, there's one or two things that are going to cause the the sinus do problem there's going to be a predisposition meaning that it's it's the environment is is right and ripe for this thing and that's well, usually allergic to moles and dust mites that, there there's your around. there's your answer so you need to get rid of sugars and dairy products and peanuts and peanut butter and alcohol and things that uh, convert into sugar quickly fermented types of foods uh, mushrooms the, all the things that are mold like then you've got to do probiotic and prebiotic you may have to take something like succinic acid or uh, uh, crapilic acid or even a golden seal or uh, oregano and things like that. It depends you on mean what golden you... sealed in your nose. You mean spray? No, you're going to take it. In, you're going to take it orally. Oh, it... you mean you mean take it? Sure. Oh, take it orally yeah, so... or in a neti pot? You mean? Yeah. Well, no, neti pot. You're just going to drain that thing out. But remember what I said. Where it's coming from? It's, it's coming, coming from the gut. From so the gut. A neti pot it's... wouldn't do me any good. No. So you got to have to t- does right. golden seal come in pill format. It it does. The, it you can get it, to, but it's most effective in the liquid form. So the thing that is, we still don't know when we do a test on a patient. There are many different types of molds and funguses. Some of them are more. Uh, sensitive to certain types of things than others are. So, oh. he, you know, here's what you need to do. You need to get to see somebody like us and, you know, have them do a uh, a full-spectrum stool analysis on you where you can find all the creatures that live there. You find it specifically. But also remember that you're treating everything. You're tr- you're, when you have a problem that's chronic, the nervous system is involved, biochemistry system is involved, it starts affecting the energetics of the body, it starts affecting you know the lymphatic areas and so forth. So all these guys, if you really want to fix something, you've got to get rid of it. Loris, do this. Send me a note at roselcare.com, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you and give you some real specific guidelines on what I would do or recommend you know, somebody in my family, my, my patients. I treat everybody like mother, brother, father, sister, child. I mean, I wouldn't do for anybody what I wouldn't do for my own family. Well, once you come down with something, is there something like, you know, eat raw garlic or something else garlic is garlic is one of the most effective why because but you don't have to eat it raw you can you can cook it no No, unfortunately, you got to eat it raw, or you oh have my. to take the liquid form because it's the allicin in the garlic that is the effective compound that will kill things. So you uh, eat like a couple of cloves of garlic? Well, it depends on how bad it is, but you got to eliminate all those other things we talked about. Yeah. Loris, yeah. contact me, give me a call, hon. Glad to, uh, glad that you gave us a call today. Lynn, how can I help you? Hi, good afternoon, and a very good post Thanksgiving and a wonderful, healthy contented new year to you and your family indeed merry christmas coming up and i hope every holiday is great for all of us oh yes and and thank you for your program i wanted to know my neighbor said that a while long time ago you i see believe you had mentioned something about how to cure toenail fungus if there's such a thing as a cure if so i'm really plagued 
Uh, could you please repeat that, what, what you know about toenail fungus and how one can take care of it? Well, unfortunately, toenail fungus, Lynn, is one of those things that is, again, predisposed from the inside, showing a manifestation on the outside. So what you end up with, if you get these hardened, thickened nails and you you know see the growth underneath and it looks like you got all this scum build up underneath, that's obviously toe fungus. And it cracks and it fissures and it gets in between the toes and, you know, so forth. Now, having said that, we've just described that and, and Jeff is sitting here giving me a face that said, oh, my God, really, does it look like that? I said, yeah, it looks like that, Jeff. And so what what you do with this is... First, you have to eliminate the things that I just talked about with uh, Loris when she called. And you got to get rid of the sugars. you got to get rid of the alcohol. you got to get rid of the things that convert quickly. But for the toe itself, what you want to do is, now, this is caustic. You have to get old-fashioned Clorox. And you take one to two tablespoons per eight ounces of water in the Clorox. And you soak your toe in there for about 15 to 20 minutes every night. Now, it could burn a little bit. It may peel the skin back. It's not going to kill you, but it's going to be very sensitive. So, but it works because, and it's the active ingredient is chlorite in the Clorox. Other chlorine bleaches do not work the same way. It has to be the original formula of Clorox bleach. And you do it for a period of a month's time or a couple weeks. And then in the meantime, you go to the health food store and you buy Pauriarco. It's a bark off of a tree in South America. Pauriarco, Ipsiro, Lapacho, it's all the same stuff. And you make a very strong, strong tea out of it, and you drink at least three cups a day. Now, some folks will tell you that if you really concentrate the Pauriarco, you can soak your toes in that. And you can get little pieces of gauze and soak them in there and then shove it underneath the toenail bed, and it'll help kill it. But you've got to treat this thing, in my experience, from inside and outside to ultimately get rid of it completely and permanently. Otherwise, it'll go away from a, for a while and then comes back. So, Lynn, that's the best I can do on, on the air to help you. But if you follow that direction, it will make a difference. Appreciate it. 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you on any subject you have in mind. We're talking about a lot of different things today. and want to remind you, go to Caring for Others ltd.org and make a donation because December 20th Caring for Others and Rizal Center for Healing are combining for our second annual Christmas Holiday Jubilee where we are hosting this year over a hundred children and their mothers and their parents people who are battered and abused and they're out of their homes and they're trying to get their lives back together we would like your help donate 25 to $50 or more, depending on your heart, and I will match every dollar you give from where the level is right now that you're going to see on the website up to $40,000. I will match you dollar for dollar. It's a 501c3. Your donations are fully tax deductible. You will get a receipt. If you'd like to donate a very large sum, please do get a hold of us. We'll hook you up with the people. We'll make sure that you know it is... Uh, substantiated for you so you can take it off your your income taxes caring for others caring for others ltd.org please do it today and help us these children are going to depend on you and we're trying to expand this caring for others is a foundation started in 1998 that re- that none of its participants nobody on the board gets a nickel they donate their time the doctors that are involved donate their time they're Everything, their transportation, when they go someplace to treat people, 100% of the costs they pick up out of their own pocket. Please help us. Help us help people who have no other outlet except for the things that we do for them. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit about foot pain because we didn't get the opportunity to get into it too much, but I want to talk to you about that. Great article, Pain Underfoot, Metatarsalgia, and kind of triggered my thought process for some of my patients, and I want you to understand what it is that causes this stuff, and we can do that within a few minutes. Nevertheless, don't go away because I have much more for you. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. We'll be right back. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You've been listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio. Love to take your calls, your answer your questions anytime, not only here in the program, but outside. All you got to do is go to rosellcare.com or give us a call at 703-698-7117 rosellcare.com r-o-s-e-l-l-e-c-a-r-e dot com send us a note or call us 703-698-7117 
and we will get back to you. We'll tell you what we think and what you should do, and that's why we're here. We're here every Sunday, 12 noon, bringing you the most intimate and updated information on integrative and alternative care, how you can take care of yourself, what you need to know about, who you need to see when you have a problem. That's why we continue to do this program. Got a couple more calls. I'm going to take one more, and then I want to wrap it up by telling you a couple other things. Betty, thank you for uh, holding. How can I help you? Uh, Yes, I have a a grandson who's 21 years old in an apartment now, finishing up uh, his college, and he doesn't take the time to do any cooking for himself. I'm just wondering, uh, can you suggest, he asked me to get him some vitamins, which might help at least a little bit. Can you suggest anything? Sure. Okay, Betty, listen, anybody that doesn't take care of themselves is setting themselves up for a problem. So you, you want to do a general multiple vitamin, but go to a place like Whole Foods, go to a place like Mom's or Trader Joe's, ask them for a natural organic vitamin that he can take a couple times a day. He wants to take an uh, extra vitamin C, about 1,000 milligrams twice a day. Uh, have him take a B complex, but a low dosage natural B complex, preferably organic form, and have him take that a couple of days. Start with that. That would give him a good basis to go from. There's a lot more. I don't know his health. I don't know his activity level. I don't know how bad or good his diet actually is. But if you start with that, Betty, you know it's it's going to make a difference for him. He needs to do that. Triple eight six three zero nine sixty five. That's how you find us here at the station. And I don't think we're going to be able to take any more of you, although we have some people waiting. I beg your forgiveness. Don't forget, Caring for Others. Go to their website, caringforothersltd.org, and help us help some amazing people. Artemis House, which is in Fairfax County and helps battered women and children, and we are combining with them, and we're going to host them in a couple other shelters with Caring for Others and Roselle Center for Healing. On the 20th December, we are going to host our second annual party for these children and these women so they can have a holiday that is going to be filled with joy other than the abuse that they've taken up until that point. You know, in 38 years of practice, the one thing that gets to me down to my core is one human being abusing another. There's no need for it. I have very little tolerance for it. I can't even fathom the thought process. Help us help these amazing people. Caring for others, ltd.org. Make a donation today and help us help these people. Next week, we'll be back with brand new information, a lot of things that you need to know about. And, you know, as always, I want you to remember something. You are the master of your health ship. You're the one that needs to take care of yourself. What better way, by the way, than, you know, giving a gift of health? And you can do that also by buying my book and giving it to somebody and say, hey, here, here's a beginning, here's a place. It's a treatise, if you will, on how to take the first step, perhaps, in saving a very deadly outcome. And I say that very sincerely. I love you all. Take care. See you later. Bye. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell live in studio today. 888-630-9625. That's how you find us here. How you find us outside the program is you go to rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com. Or call us at 703-698-7117 and let us know how we can help you. My guest today, Dr. Michael Chung. We're talking about sleep apneic conditions, neuromuscular dentistry, uh, Invisalign braces, and so forth. And and Dr. Chung is, when it comes to neuromuscular position of the mouth, 
this guy knows really where it's at because you can't just have things done to your mouth. I think I, you know, when I first went in to start seeing Dr. Mike, and you know, all of you have been to the dentist and they've had work done, and they take the little carbon paper, Mike, after uh, you're done with the work, and you go tap, 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 tap. And I said, no, Mike, sit me up to do it. And it's because that's the way the mouth is supposed to be. And you can find that with your case seven. Correct. Absolutely. Um, there's a, I mean, you can even test it for yourself if you uh, sit up straight and tap, 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 and and notice where you're touching your teeth and you lean your head back and tap, 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 and, you know, you're always going to find a different spot that where it hits. So uh, there's a huge correlation here between... Uh, the position of your upper and lower jaw and, and your posture. Postural patterns have to do with everything from the top down. And we're talking about the mechanics of the skull. We're talking about the mechanics of the temporomandibular joint. And if you really want to know if you're positionally correct, if you're, you know, if that snoring that you're getting, if that fatigue pattern that you have is because you're opening your mouth all night long and you're not breathing normally or you're stopped you're, you're, you're stopping your breathing pattern throughout the night. Uh, it's really something that needs to be evaluated properly. And the only way that I know how to, to evaluate it is this. Mike, we got about a minute or so. Let's talk a little bit more about, you know, what that really means neuromuscularly to the body and, and why it's important that people do it the right way. Yes. Um, well, I mean, uh, obviously sleep apnea can left untreated will cause all sorts of issues such as diabetes, heart problems, blood pressure. I mean, it is basically you're starving your organs of oxygen. Uh, so it is very, very important uh, that not only are your teeth nice and straight and, and put in the correct functional position, but that it is in a correct neuromuscular position as well for your airway. So, um, and there's only one way that I know uh, is by by the system of K7 where we can a actually analyze all those three dimensions and, and put you in a correct neuromuscular balance. It's a very cool study. I mean, you, you sit there and you get hooked up with a TENS unit and he knocks out all of the the, the imbalanced muscle contractions uh, that support your head and neck and then he has you open and close your mouth and on a computer screen you're seeing how the mouth aligns itself and then the correction is done to position it properly and Suddenly, you've got a new mouth. You've got a new life. It's it's really incredible. I love watching this stuff when I go over to your office and just hang out. It's kind of neat. Dr. Michael Chung, my guest in studio today. You can reach Dr. Chung at 703-319-6990 for a complimentary consultation. If you think you've got a problem, if your wife, guys, has been complaining that you snore way too much, give Dr. Mike a call. If you'd like to establish yourself as a new patient, you can do that by just calling them at that uh, same number and 79 bucks will get you in the door. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. We're here every week, 12 noon, bringing you the best in intimate information on integrative care. See you later. Bye.